right, so we're over here in the father of all simulators. The big daddy himself, Farming Simulator 2019, the only game where you can make stacks and enslave animals. So the developer sent me a key so I could check this out a little bit early. It's gonna be out a couple days. I'm gonna have links in the description below if you guys wanna check it out. I've played a lot of Farming Simulator games, but I've never actually played Farming Simulator. So I feel like I'm at a disadvantage here. We played like Farmer's Dynasty and Farm Manager 2018 or whatever, but everyone always says, great, you need to play Farming Simulator. Well, here we go. So we're over the European map. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be like modeled after Germany because everyone was playing the uh, US map. So I figured why not? We have the best place to possibly start in the in the universe because we're next to like some freaking castle ruins, which is amazing. And we have a lovely little shack. There's three different ways that you could start. You could start with stuff or without stuff. If you start without stuff, there's the harder way to start without stuff and the easier way to start without stuff. It's like one's called from scratch and one's called like make your own farm. The only difference is that the from scratch stuff gives you half as much money. I feel like I want to come in here and raise animals because that gives us the most power over life and death. Well, technically, I guess plants are living. Anyway, to the stack making. So one thing to know about this game is that there's 50 billion options. But Gray, what does that mean? To the shop. This is the shop. If you click on brands, <laughs> oh my God, you're gonna notice there's about 6 billion of them. There's all kinds of stuff over here. You could buy pretty much anything in the entire universe. You wanna chop down forests because they're getting in the way of capitalism? Feel free. It actually gets a little bit scarier past that because not only can you, is there like a million different things for you to buy, but you can even like mess with all this stuff. So like, I don't know if you want, if you want like a tractor over here, you can get like all kinds of different wheels and stuff on it. Look at this, look at this crap, wheel brand. You can get different engines and stuff and they give you a different amount of horsepower, different uh, en uh, front end attachments and stuff like that. We're already kind of set up. We already have a few of the items that we need, so we don't have to worry about it too much. And the one thing I love about Farming Simulator is that you can hire scumbags to do the boring stuff for you. All right, first things first. Let us let us hire someone. Oh, that's our guy, by the way. I think it's, I think his name is like Sad McStackington or something like that. I can't really remember. I can't make his hair gray. So he still has all the color in his hair. He's wearing a gray shirt though for posterity. Let's destroy something. Alrighty. Little bit of this, little bit of that. And now see, you can do this if you want to. See, you can feel important as you scare the living crap out of the birds. Oh my God, we almost, okay. The birds are surprisingly close to the machine. You almost feel like we're gonna, we're gonna take them out hardcore. But what I like to do here is take the opportunity to utilize the AI and hire someone to do this. Our lovely gray self has been replaced by this very, very nonchalant woman. Go ahead and hop out of here and let her do everything. Now she's gonna do everything herself from what I understand. And I don't have to, I don't even have to watch her. She, she could just move. Oh, she gonna do the backup way, okay. But yeah, she's gonna do her thing. I don't know how skilled the AI is. Like it doesn't look bad. Probably drives better than I do. <laughs> she's pissing off the other people. What are, you, what are you drive right in the middle of the roadway? Can we? Can you get hit by cars? Like you can go. There's nothing blocking the roadway, you know. Yeah, we screwed everything up. Mother of God! You can also jump in this game, which I kind of. And wow, you can literally just surf right over the vehicles. Man, our guy jumps like. Look at the height this guy gets. How can you one jump over like a utility truck? That's like an eight foot vertical. So we start off with two fields, a silo, a little like area, and. A farmhouse and a dream. Our farmhouse has seen better days. Actually, that's the garage. This is the farmhouse. Our farmhouse has seen better days. It's kind of sad when you're a farmer and what? <laughs> it's too bad that you can't use this. You do have like a chainsaw, I think, that you can use, but you gotta buy it. Let's see what it's like inside while our NPCs do all the work for us. Can you open up the door? You sure cannot. Inside of this chest is all the keepsakes from the family member that left us this farm. They probably went into giant debt. That's how every simulation game starts. Is that a... Now, it would be really cool is, so, is if over here on this laptop, they had like farming simulator playing. But anyway, it, it's like how every simulation starts. You inherit the farm. It's like a giant farm that's all overgrown and then your uncle or whatever is like three million dollars in debt. This is like a two or three million dollar farm. Like a, there's a lot of equipment here. You put your weight on, you put your thingy on. Is that a car just sitting in the middle of the road or is my, my harvester pissing everyone off again? I'm pretty sure that my harvester is pissing everyone off. 
Look at the rolling fields and everything. The game does look pretty. Oh yeah, we're gonna do this just long enough so that when we're bossing around our employee, we can tell them that we've been there. We've been in their shoes. We know how it feels. All right, we too were talentless hack scumbags. We're just really lazy. All right, that's it. I'm hiring someone else right now. This is interesting. We're hiring all women to work the fields. I mean, I, I don't have a, I mean, you know, equality and all that. It's just kind of weird that there's, it's like only women that we're, that we're putting to the grindstone out here in what is a, a, a very beautiful scenery. Every once in a while, you can pop on in here to see how they're doing. Only about halfway full, not even halfway full. So she's got a ways to go. All right, so this has seed in it. So I'm just going to leave that as it is. If we want to, we can go look at some of the things that we can buy. We got a hundred grand. We could always take more out from the bank too. Over to the shop. This time we're actually going to potentially buy something. Oh, big bags. It's much better than the small bags. What do you get? Oh, pig food and oat and wheat and stuff. There's the seed. Okay. Fertilizer. Okay, so this is where you buy all the stuff to like spread over your goo and stuff. So there's a forestry aspect to this too. You can actually plant trees and then chop them up and stuff and sell all the logs and they have a sugar cane oh animal pens how much do they all cost is this stuff like oh there's a dog house like do you get a free dog with it damn the cow pasture ain't cheap i'm gonna tell you that there's a large chicken coop that's got double the coopage details sure oh it immediately went to the buy screen you lied to me it's all right i'll worry about that later so large horse paddock oh so this must be like what it gives you a day i assume I kind of want to raise pigs or sheep. That'd be pretty cool. It's 65 grand. We actually have enough for the small one. Oh, the animal dealer. Can you like teleport there? Mother of God, this game is amazing. So here's all the animals, pigs. Oh, you can even get them by the different color over here. You got your spotted pig and your black pig with kind of like a, a pinkish nose. There's the sheep. 1500 for a sheep, huh? So we could get a sheep area. We could actually get a couple sheep. I imagine chickens are a lot less. Man, this girl is like super responsible. Like she lines up perfect. She lowers it down. And then she drops it with me. I just leave the thing down all the time. I'll probably end up breaking some laws or something. I just wanted to go in here. There's like still more buildings, like a miscellaneous building. I was curious what you can buy. There's a little cleaning station. So you can wash off all your vehicles and stuff like that. You can also... Customize your machinery without the need of a paid mechanic. That sounds hot. Oh, a wood chipper? Oh, and there's like a bunch of decoration too. If you want, you can just get like a shelter or like a garage or something. All right, I say let's get a friggin' chicken coop and see how it goes. What's the worst that can happen? Okay, I vastly underestimated how big this thing is. Like, it is really big. Like, it just barely fits over here. Maybe we'll get the smaller chicken coop. I just wanna see how big the sheep pasture is. It's pretty friggin' big too. Here we go, this is way more doable. We could probably put it right out in back here. You gotta like rotate it as you do. There you go. All right, we're buying a chicken coop. I think I'm gonna put the entrance like over on this side, like maybe toward the house. I don't know, that kind of makes sense. I'm gonna put it like as close to this, this uh, road over here as we can get it. I don't know, right about like that. Yeah, that looks fine. Welcome to our brand new chicken coop. Look at this. Oh, you can open the gate. There we go. Walk inside to get a uh, animal dialogue. I guess we should probably get some animals for it. I'm gonna sit there. Yes, there we go. Incoming rooster jokes. We've got the biggest and firmest rooster of all. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, buy one of these. Just getting a whole slew of them. I don't know how many is good. We're, I think it can store like a lot, but I'm just gonna get this many for right now and we'll see what happens. So I bought a bag of feed for the chickens. I don't have time for your signs. I bought a bag of feed for the chickens. What they don't tell you is that you need a little attachment in order to move them. So I guess I have to go get that. These are some really, really chill drivers here. Like they have no issue with a guy driving his tractor around. I guess this is normal. This is like a bunch of farmland. So what they're seeing right now is I, I, I guess a typical day-to-day -day occurrence. Now I do like to off-road my tractor. So we'll kind of go over here like this. Okay, time to pick up our friggin' pallet loader. Oh my god, this thing hauls. Oh, it's glorious. Look at the speed. I was thinking about getting a pickup truck, but honestly, why get a pickup truck when you can just drive one of these around? Customize, front end loader, customize, yes. Put the thing on here, put the other thing on here, and now we got a successful floor, well, not a floor, a pallet thing, you know, a pallet fork chunklet. Do a little bit of this. 
do a little bit of that, and now we can take it back. I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea how to do that at first. I'm glad I figured it out, uh, because I was like, how the hell am I supposed to get this seed back over to my friggin' chickens before they all starve? They're all sad and depressed, sitting back at the farm, eating their own feces, and singing songs of depression about how abusive their owner is. But now, thanks to this fresh brewed seed, we're gonna roll up like bastions of greatness and keep them from certain death. And there we go, look at that right there. It just, it just shoves right up in there. I don't know if this is like overfilling it or what. I don't know how much it can hold. Perfect. It holds a thousand, we can move a thousand. And their productivity is up to 20%. All right, I went ahead and bought more chickens. Look at them all, they're happy. They're chickening around. They're organic, all right, they're grass fed. Only the best grain for him. I'm running over here just to uh, put this stuff inside the silo. I'm actually probably going to empty... Whoa. I'm probably going to empty this out in a second and see how much we can sell. We're down a little bit. We've been spending a little bit of money. You know, getting our chickens up and everything like that. The chickens aren't really going to give us a ton of profit. I just think that they're cool. We're going to need like another big field because I eventually want to do like the pigs. Our other helper got done with the other field. Yeah, she missed a little bit of a spot. But quite frankly, that's probably better than I would have done. So we can start seeding that. I decided since I'm driving this thing back to our farm, I might as well get rid of this little strip of embarrassment over here. This sad, pathetic little area that was completely missed on the cultivation. Yeah, birds, you need to know, man. You birds are gonna end up getting freaking massacred. Then the chickens are gonna be all scared of me because I killed their kin. All right, Cedar, come here. It's time to go to work. It's time to make that dollar. Well, actually, it's time to pay someone else to make that dollar for us. Select seed. How many do we have? Do we have, like, more than one? Oh, we do. Oh, we have a ton of seed. Oh, you can pick whatever seed you want. Uh, let's do... Eh, just looking at the prices over here. Maybe we'll just do this. All right. Make it happen perfectly, my man. All right, Silo. Spit money into me. All right, I want to bring this thing to the grain mill because it sells for big money. The freaking sunflower seeds are a mate or sunflower seeds. Sunflower, well, I guess it is. Seeds or grains or sunflower, whatever it is. The sunflower goo, goo sells for amazingness, but why take the slow one when I think this has a hookup as well, maybe? Yeah. Why take the slow one when we could take the fast one? All right, seating still going good, looking hot. Now, I don't know what happens if you crash into a vehicle. Um, eh, let's try it. What's the worst that can happen? Whoa, what a fool I was. I'm sure I could, I'm sure I could work my way out of this. Hold on now. Uh, so yeah, I fixed it. I mean, <laughs> we, we did it for science, but I, I, that wasn't quite the, that wasn't quite what I thought was going to happen. I thought maybe there'd be a crash and you'd get fined or something. I didn't think that the vehicles would defy the laws of physics and go flying into the sky. How's the game feel about you running stop signs? Boop. Don't care. Very good. This isn't a very wide road. Like, it is just barely wide enough to fit me, my tractor, and like one other car. Oh, grain mill. I bring you stacks. Well, actually, I bring you grain, and I want stacks in return. Look, it's, you know how it works. You help me, I help you. Oh, this is a lovely car you got over there. Go ahead and bring this, like, up in this right here. There we go. Take the thingy off, start unloading, and watch as the cash floweth in. Oh, God. So hot. Oh, we're making back all the money we just spent. Not all of it. We're gonna make back most of it. We still have a lot of grain inside the silo, too, for us to get rid of. All right, we're rolling back up to the house. Stacks. We've begun to make them. The seeding is going well. The graining is pretty much completely grained out. How's our, how's our guy over there doing? Hold on, are you still working? Or are you you're supposed to be working 24 hours a day? I don't have time for you to just sit around doing nothing. Well, you get over there and keep seeding the area, for the love of God. There we go. Yeah, you keep doing that. Just the whole field. I need the whole field done. All right, we can't be making a ton of money. What are you blocked by? Is this blocked by an object? I'm curious what exactly they're blocked by. I don't think it's, is it this maybe? It may be this. That could be what it is. If so, then I, I don't know. I guess I'll cry myself to sleep later. We'll see if I can move it or something. I could probably even mess with it. But yeah, man, the farm's looking pretty good. We have a lot of money to sell too. So we're going to have some cash to buy some new equipment. What would you guys buy? What kind of animals would you do? Like I said, I kind of want to do pigs. But what sort of, uh, what sort of heavy equipment should we look into? Because, man, like I said, 
There is a freaking ton of it. I mean, a ton of equipment for us to get. Let me know in the comments section below. Hope you enjoyed it. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy. Much love.